Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress, and this is Pixie Dust Tarot, and we're here with your daily dust. This is for October 19th, Wednesday, if you're watching in real time, but it can be for any time you stumble upon it. This is a timeless reading, and we're gearing up towards Halloween, and I'm using the Halloween-y type decks that I have, kind of recycling them. And we're back to the Disney villains again, so... Um, this is a really adorable deck. I love it. So let's see. Good guidebook. Good explanations. It's got Pip's cards, but you know, I'm not mad at it. And uh, I colored the edge this kind of needle magenta that kind of goes good with the backing, which is real pretty. All right, let's give it a good shuffle. It shuffles nice too. It's real bendy. I don't know if I can just be a more separate a little bit. Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> Let's take off the top. We have. Ooh! Seven of Cups. I like. The, I know. I got all excited. The octopus. That's so funny because my bathroom is all octopus and um, you know, kind of pirates, dead pirate theme, uh, uh, Kraken <laughs> for Halloween, and also just watched a really cool um, octopus tattoo being designed. And then we have the Nine of Coins. Very nice. And, oh, Six of Coins, the Suit and Tie. That's one of my walking songs. I have I walk to a, a Suit and Tie mix, Justin Timberlake. Anyway, let's zoom on in. I feel like with the, it's kind of funny because yesterday we had Eight of Cups, and I feel like we're going, we were kind of like going back into kind of like a, a thought process, you know, like maybe tempted to walk away. Maybe we actually did walk away, but maybe there's there's now um, a bit of thought process happening here, like reflection. So let's zoom on in and see what we get. So it's interesting how cups is, you know, thoughts in this regard, because the seven of cups often represents illusions or imagination. But it, it's like, it, it's not always, it's not bad or good. It's kind of a mix of things. But I think it's important. It's super important to be able to to rest and think and imagine and create. Because that's where our manifesting comes. Visualizing what you want to happen. Remembering that, you know, you are what you think about. And so make sure those thoughts are really good. And that... You know, maybe they need a little bit more definition, not so entangled in um, kind of, you know, it gives me web energy, even though it's tentacles, but in, entangled in tentacles, you know. Um, dreaming is very powerful. It's a powerful act of manifestation. And so it's really good to daydream a little. And imagine what adventures you want to go on and where do you want them to take you and visualize your happily ever after and then take steps to bring that vision to life. So it's one thing to, you know, if you're like me, maybe you do um, subliminals or you do visualizations, you meditate, you do those kind, that kind of work to help bring about your you're happily ever after but you also have to put a, a little bit of action into it anyway you know at least get out of the house once in a while so next we have nine of coins which i think it's good i think you're in the right you're on the right track and the nine of coins represents this kind of really happy energy happy vibe things going well um Wishes coming true. I think this is the wishes coming true card. It's material abundance. And it's funny because one of my <laughs> visualizations that I do before bed is is $3 million. It was one I, a video that I found and they're like, just do this for 30 days and, and you know, before you go to bed. And last night I was too lazy to plug in my earbuds and, 
turn on my mute my my little video I made for myself but I was like you know what I have this memorized so so I'm just gonna visualize it before I go to bed so it's kind of like saying prayers at night before you go to bed if you if you have that visual as you fall asleep it helps seeps into your subconscious and you know your, your subconscious mind can go in lots of interesting directions and all kinds of dreams can pop up but if you set sort of an intention, then that's really good. And that means that, you know, and then so the, the physical part of what you're doing, the hard work physically that you're putting in to reaping your war, rewards, there that is going to happen. You are going to re re reap those rewards. <laughs> that, say that fast, three times fast. Reap rewards. Reap those rewards. Now you have everything you need, so set yourself up for that sustained success and manage the wealth okay so here we have visualize it but take action okay you got the wealth now you have to maintain it and you know like we got the suit and tie we got the six of coins i feel like um you're gonna be snappy dresser hanging out with the 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 um upscale people and be, you're be, going to be able to afford the things that you weren't able to be, to afford, but you still have to be, still have to have some moderation, and actually also share with others. So one of the things that you do when you win all this money or when you gain all this money, is you find ways to to make it grow or sustain it or maintain it. But one of the the great greatest ways to grow money is by investing and sharing and helping other people out so um <laughs> it's not a very vi villainous thing to do but anyway um it's asking you to be generous so you've been very successful this is about your success and you didn't do this alone it's a lot of like this happens a lot like famous people will give back to the community as a thank you for being raised a certain way, having support systems in their life, even if it's in a small way, like you want to give it back to your family. And my, this, this is like, this is my actual visualization. I'm, I'm on a yacht. <laughs> I, uh, I'm uh, listening to like people, you know, having a party, um, swimming or whatever, like in the background and I'm sipping on my pina colada and then my kids come walk up to me and I'm like reaching in my pocket and I'm pulling out hundred dollar bills and I'm like oh gosh there's a whole lot more than this you know I have three million dollars and um and that's the part where you're giving right you're giving to your family so that kind of that really fits me because I know if I had a lot of money, that's the first thing I would do. I'd start handing it out to family members <laughs> anyway. So, and anybody who's helped along the way, but even if they haven't helped in a financial way, helped with some emotional support and love energy and whatever else. So I feel like that's, you know, like this is good news. It's like, okay, here you go. You imagined it, it came true, now you're going to figure out how to sustain it and spend it and share it. And there you have it. <laughs> Good luck. So, um, yeah, just keep that momentum going. It's, it's all very possible. That abundance is just right there at your fingertips. And I hope you like that. Say so trust the pixie dust.